An intriguing contradiction of grand success arises when individuals affirm to their loved ones that someday they will be a household name, someday they will possess the swanky cars, the grand mansion, an extensive backyard with an immense swimming pool and an elevator. They aspire to throw extra extravagant parties and attain billionaire status. Yet, they choose to spend Friday nights partying rather than working late in the office. They prefer to oversleep until 10 a.m. Saturday rather than heading to the gym early. They spend Sundays watching movies all day instead of enriching their knowledge of books. The fact is, those who achieve great heights follow four crucial practices. One, they strive, they rest, strive, endure, and repeat this cycle persistently until their aspirations turn into reality. If you can tolerate doing the things you love, you will discover unparalleled greatness. It's vital to develop an attitude that compels you to show up every day, regardless of life's hurdles. We are obliged to step into life's battleground, prepared for combat, no matter the challenges you face. It's your duty to identify your new peak potential. The grind must persist. Do I fail in many endeavors? I continue to persevere. I may dislike half the tax I undertake, but I keep pushing forward. The day you catch me jogging in a dimly lit alley at one in the morning, understand one thing. I was hustling. Each morning offers two choices. You can glance at the alarm clock, hit snooze, and drift back into dreams of your desired life. Or you can resist the temptation to snooze, rise, and actively chase your dreams. You need to face life hardships if you wish to reach the summit where you look into the mirror and admire yourself enduring the struggle, investing in hard work and achieving a great a results you can take pride in, a legacy marked by your signature. The, this holds true value. It's not just empty rhetoric. You are endorsing them with action. That's the champion's way. Champions don't back down. They relentlessly pursue their goals. That's our calling. I find the grind exhilarating. If you dare to compete with any of my enterprises, I will outperform you because I will outwork you. You must be ready to labor in hidden corners while the competitor rests. I labor while they indulge. I toil. There's always someone out there envying what you have. They aspire to your position, your career, your partner. Someone is always yearning for everything you possess. Let this serve as your driving force. Mental resilience signifies not just achieving top but also delighting in the accent, enjoying the weightlifting sessions, the fatigue, the grind, finding pleasure in the process. Embrace your the opportunity, modify your dietary habits, approach trading differently, practice more intensively. Time is limited, it's not live in denial. We are all destined to die, so I make every moment count, capitalizing on every opportunity. I am propelled by the process and I relish it. I rise every morning at 3 o'clock irrespective of my mood or desire. Why? Because I am driven by the process not by emotions. Champions don't act on whims or convenience. If we aim to be champions, we must be process driven. Don't hold you to fatigue. Seize only when you've accomplished your goal. Keep moving, keep pushing and don't stop. It's never going to be easy but you will make it possible. So keep persistent, keep pushing, and you are just one step away from success. I believe in you. Go out, make a difference. Thank you.